And Fletcher Brown here again, the Kicks 96 Country.com artist video blogs from Nashville. We welcome today to Kicks Country ATP recording artist Braden Gray. Braden, welcome to Kicks Country. That's it. How are you? I'm good. All right, now you have just put out your debut album on ATP. Self titled. Self titled, Braden Gray. Now you're two singles in on the album, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Your first one, uh, it won't be over you, but current single, uh, we're going to hear in just a minute, uh, I'm Not Hungover. Uh, the question that, that comes to mind is like, are, are you, are you your songwriter? Do you write your own songs or you borrow from some other national songwriters? Or how, I, how do, I do write a good bit, but uh, unfortunately, you know, this first album we decided to go with, uh, I, I was unfortunate for me, but uh, we decided to go with all publishers on this one. Oh, really? Yeah, we, we did. Uh, every tune was from a publisher. Uh, we spent a lot of time searching for, for tunes for this album. But you actually do write uh, a number of your own songs. Absolutely, and we plan to do about half the next album. Okay. So, um, well then, where did you come to music? I mean, did, did songwriting come to you easy? I mean, growing up in Mississippi, you're from Mississippi. Mm -hmm. What part of Mississippi? I was born in Tupelo mm -hmm. and uh, was raised in New Albany, which is right next next door, about mm -hmm. like 20 minutes. So, like, um, being from Elvis's home country, <laughs> <laughs> you, you probably bring some of that Elvis flavor with you. Is that the, were you raised on, like, Elvis and, and others of that, uh, that era? Or what, what's your musical background? You know, I, I really didn't do it a lot with music uh, until I was about 17 or 18. I was the, the kid who wouldn't even open a hymnal in church. And, really? Yeah, but uh, I, I ended up, they started uh, forcing me to sing a little bit, and I, I wound up going to the Mid-South Fair in Memphis and uh, singing there. And I met some wonderful people who, who got behind me, and they sent me to Belmont University in Nashville, and uh, was where I met my guitar player, and he introduced me to a production company. And, they introduced me to ATP. It's just been a roller coaster ride here the past couple of years, you know, just just one thing, just kind of real easy falling into place after the other. But music is actually a part of your, your family, but your mother's a vocal coach, am I correct? Absolutely. Right. She, she does. Uh, I, she did. She never taught me anything, uh, cause, not because she didn't try. I would always <laughs> run away, you know, when it came time to do it. So your mother's probably pretty good and proud of you, real happy that you, you come to Nashville. Absolutely. And, and you're working on it. All right, so now, where do you go? From from how long I mean, you've been how long have you been from Mississippi to Nashville and, and where do you where do you see yourself heading in the next you know next next few months next few years? I have been in Nashville for two years now mm -hmm. and uh, I, I guess I've only been doing music for about four. Mm -hmm. I started when I was nineteen or twenty and uh, the next the next step uh, right now we're we're really talk, starting to talk about the next album and how we want the feel for it to go and, and starting to look for songs and, and write songs for the next album. So now this being your first album and two singles in, um, you, you've probably done a good bit of touring, promoting the album and everything. Have you had a chance to play anywhere or with anyone that you just said, man, wow, I can't believe I'm here, I'm doing this? Well, we've had a chance to do a, a lot of amazing stuff. I, I, I've been very blessed this year. You know, we've gotten to work with, uh, with Little Texas and Joe Diffie and several big guys this year. That there's been a lot of fun. We've we've had a big year. All right. Well, tell me about the single. I'm not hungover. What's this song? Uh, the the hook in it is a uh, I'm not hungover. I'm just tired from drinking all night. <laughs> uh, we uh, this song originally, you know, we listened to it and uh, it got stuck in my head. But we threw it on the back burner. We said we weren't going to cut it. And uh, you know, after about three months later, we're getting ready to cut the album. And this song is still stuck in my head. So so we went back and. Uh, we looked at it again and, and decided we might need to just go ahead and put it on the album. All right, we'll tell you what, let's go ahead and I'm going to get out of the way, let your guitar player come sit down, and we're about to hear Braden Gray sing his current single, I'm Not Hung Over, here on KickSideSixCountry.com. <laughs> That sucks me into situations where all I can remember is saying yes. I'm not hungover. I'm just tired from drinking all night. Won't you talk a little slower? Maybe a little more quiet. If you ain't gonna wanna see me no more when you leave, just please don't slam the door.
Try to tell people and they just don't listen. So now that's the second single off the album. What's your favorite song on the album? My favorite song on the album is, is track number five, uh, Can't Get Enough. It, it, there's a song on the album that, that actually I had the most to do with and that actually came out as uh, what I feel represents me best. It's, uh, it's that tune. All right, well, if someone, if someone, if you didn't have your music to give someone uh, an idea of, of what Braden Gray is all about. How would you describe Braden Gray? I mean, how would you describe you, your approach to your music and, and what it is that you, you want to get across to your, your audience? We've got a, a real laid back feel uh, uh, to, to the music and everything. Uh, we, we spend a lot of, uh, of time uh, searching um, for songs and stuff and making sure that we got songs and, and production that, that we can represent live as well as we do on the CD. So we're, we're real proud of the CD. All right, well the CD is self-titled Braden Gray, ATP Records. If somebody wanted to go and hear from right from this little uh, this sample they got right now, wanted to hear more Braden Gray, how do they find you on the internet? You can go to iTunes or uh, Rhapsody or www.atprecords.com. All right, do you have Facebook and MySpace? You work Facebook, on Twitter? Facebook and MySpace, not cool enough to be on Twitter. Oh, you got to tweet, man. I know. you got to get to tweeting. Get him tweeting. We'll get it. We're going to get it. We're going to work on Braden Gray. Get getting tweeting. And Braden, thank you so much for visiting us here at kicks96country.com. Bring it back, okay? Absolutely. That's it for this one, but we'll see you again soon with another artist video blog at kicks96country.com.